What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of my favorite heavy guns in all of Fallout 76. We have the 50 cal. Starting off wearing the weapon, this is it. This is my 3 star legendary 50 cal that we're using for the video and we will be testing it with a full health and a low health build. But the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has the bolts explode for airy damage, and it also has a faster movement speed while aiming. Over the mods, we're using the prime receiver, heavy barrel, and the gold 50 cal paint. Now to begin our demonstrations with our all powerful 50 cal builds, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center and that's because there's a ton of disgusting super mutants over here that need to be vanquished and we're going to start off with a full health build and then we'll swap over to the bloody build. Now here's our first target, let me just destroy him, there we go, absolutely fantastic. What about you sir? Would you like to be destroyed also? Apparently, and so do you, huh? Stupid fools, at least he didn't suicide himself, I took care of that. There we go, we got ourselves a floater, a doggy, let me just, there we go, get out of here you stupid floater. Now I'm going to walk in the middle of these guys real quick to show you guys how tanky we are. Come on, come on, shoot, shoot as you will, you got yourself a laser, you got, you got laser back there, you got an automatic rifle, just come on. There we go, fantastic. Is that all you've got, you stupid fools? And if we get hit with energy weapons, we will be healed because I have electric absorption equipped, so that's fantastic. Now let me just destroy this guy, there we go, absolutely amazing. There we go, just get him in the face and the legs and the body, there we go. Oh my god! Oopsie daisy. Y'all okay over here? There was a giant explosion that just happened and just gotta make sure you guys are okay. Look, oh, you stupid fool. You cannot withstand the power of the bashing hit. What about you, sir? Could you withstand the power of the bashing hit? <clears throat> Apparently he can. We'll just destroy him then. There we go. Now he doesn't have a face. Hello, brethren. How you doing today? You doing great? You're looking awfully green today. Oh, oh you missed. You see me bash those guys, so you wanted to bash me. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to destroy you with the 50 cal. And look at this, our health is staying fully healed, which is fantastic. Hello, sir, is it just you? Is it just you and the communist robot? Get out of here, you stupid communist robot. Hello, sir, is it just you? You get yourself a little laser rifle there, a little pew pew, huh? Oh, well, that ain't doing nothing to me. I'm going to destroy your legs. Coming back through the West Tech Research Center, but this time we are our bloody build. Now, we are going to be slightly less tanky, but we're gonna be doing a lot more damage. Goodbye, you stupid fools. Look at that, we're just shredding straight through these guys. Now let me just stand over here real quick, get shot a couple times, maybe get attacked by a couple dogs. We will survive, that way y'all can see how tanky we are still. Ah, uh, yeah, explode yourself. Is that all you've got, brethrens? There we go, the only danger to us is, well, the stupid hounds, honestly, because they're the only ones that can really do damage, but other than that, we are still a survivor. Look how fantastic that is. And again, with the energy weapons, if they do hit us, they will heal us because electric absorption. Now, goodbye. Fantastic. Just go and get out of here, you stupid freaks. Go on, even you back there. Get out of here. Oh, super mutant brethren, would you like to feel the power of the bloody bill? Huh? 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 Yeah, I'm not scared of that car no more. No way, Jose. But apparently this guy is because he nearly died from it. And now he's dead from my 50 cal. What about you, sir? Let me just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic. Can I not be beaten? Do we have any more super mutants around here? Looks like we don't, but we do have this communist robot. The next wasteland monstrosity on our list to fill the power of the 50 cal builds is the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Link. How you doing, Link, my boy? Let me just uh, shoot you in the kneecaps. There we go, there we go. I hope this doesn't hurt that bad. You all right there? Was it that bad? Oh, oh, you're limping. I apologize about that, sir. Let me just aim at your face and probably I can fix it. Here we go. There we go, I think I fixed it, Link. Now we've made our way back to the level 100 glowing behemoth Lancelot, but this time we are the bloody bill. Just wake up, old Lancelot. There we go, fantastic. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. We're gonna shoot him in the legs. Hopefully we can cripple him. There we go, there, oh, oh. He's crippled. He's crippled, what are you gonna do now, brethren? What are you gonna do? Are you just gonna limp over here, huh? Huh? Ooh, big and scary. It's not like I can just move back here really fast. What are you gonna do now, huh? Huh? Looks like you're a super slowpoke, so we're just gonna help you out by destroying your face. And just like that, our level 100 glowing behemoth is... No more. Now we've made our way to one of the most foul creatures in all of Appalachia. We are the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Nancy. No, God, I think she heard me. I think she heard me. I woke her up and now she's moving around. 
We're going to start by destroying her legs. There we go. Fantastic. That is a ton of damage for a full health build. That is absolutely amazing. We're going to destroy her face. Let's get a little bit closer to me, Nancy. There we go. There we go. Absolutely. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get off of me, you stupid freak. I'm not stopping, so just keep on coming. There we go. Fantastic. And that Myler Queen could not withstand the power of our 50 cal. Now we found ourselves another disgusting level 100 Myler Queen, and this one goes by the name Patricia. And we're going to start by blowing her legs off. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. How do you like those shots to the leg, Patricia? Not so much, apparently, because your health is draining really, really fast. Oh, God, she hit me with poison. We're just going to step back real quick, make sure I'm not going to die by that poison. Okay, fantastic. And now we're going to destroy her face. And just like that, our Myler Queen is into pieces. Over in the builds, these are the base stats to make up the in-game full health heavy gunner build that we use for the video, so if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards to make up the in-game full health heavy gunner build. Starting off in strength, we have 15, and this we can have traveling pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims including stim packs are reduced by 90%. We have all the heavy gunner cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have bullet shield at 1 star. Gain 20 damage resistance while firing a heavy gun. We have locked and loaded at 1 star. Heavy guns reload 10% faster. We have blocker at 1 star. Take 15% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 3, and this we can have glow side at 3 stars. Deal plus 6. 60% of damage to glowing enemies. Over in Endurance, we have 12, and this one can have Life Giver at 3 stars. Gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health. We have Kin Fiend at 3 stars. Any Kims you take lasts 100% longer, and we did take Overdrive and Psycho Tats in this video. We have Fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Filter Surgeon at 1 star. Stim Packs and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers at 1 star. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 13, and this one can have Power User at 2 stars. Fusion Cores now last 60% longer. We have Stabilize at 3 stars. In Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. We have Demolition Expert at 5 stars. Your Explosives do plus 60% to damage. We have First Aid at 3 stars. Stim Packs restore 45% more lost health. Over in Agility, we have 11, and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action points should generate 45% faster. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy at 3 stars. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in Luck, we have 14, and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have One Gun Army at 3 stars. Heavy Guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. We have Ricochet at 3 stars. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage, no PvP. We have Class Freak at 3 stars. The negative effects from mutations are reduced by 75%. And we have Starch Genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from Rads, and Radway will never cure your mutations. Over the Bloody Build, these are the base sets to make up the in-game Heavy Gunner Bloody Build that we use for the video, so if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the Legendary Perk Cards equipped. Over the Normal Perk Cards, these are the Normal Perk Cards to make up our in-game Bloodied Heavy Gunner Build. Starting off in Strength, we have 15, and this one can have Traveling Pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kins, including Stim Packs, are reduced by 90%. We have all the heavy gunner cards maxed out to get the maximum damage out of this build. We have bullet shield at 1 star. Gain 20 damage resistance while firing a heavy gun. We have locked and loaded at 1 star. Heavy guns reload 10% faster. We have blocker at 1 star. Take 15% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in Perception, we have 2, and this one can have Glow Sight at 2 stars. Deal plus 40% to damage to glowing enemies. Over in Endurance, we have 13, and this one can have Life Giver at 3 stars. Gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health. We have Kin Fiend at 3 stars. Any Kims you take less 30% longer. We have Fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. We have Radical at 1 star. The greater the rads, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Field Surgeon at 1 star. Stim Packs and Radaway will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers at 1 star. Positive Mutation Effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 13, and this one can have Power User at 2 stars. Fusion Cores now last 60% longer. We have Stabilize at 3 stars. In Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. We have Demolition Expert at 5 stars. Your Explosives do plus 60% 
10% to damage. We have Nerdridge Ridge at 3 stars. Wobble 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. Over in Agility, we have 11, and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action Points are generate 45% faster. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy at 3 stars. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 Action Points per hit. Over in Luck, we have 14, and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have one gun army at 3 stars. Heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. We have ricochet at 3 stars. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back 70 of your enemies range damage, no pvp. We have class freak at 3 stars. The negative effects for mutations are reduced by 75%. And we have starch genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from rads and right away will never cure your mutations. Over in the legendary pet cards, these are the legendary pet cards that help make up our in-game builds. Starting off with intelligence, we have that card maxed out. We have endurance maxed out, strength maxed out, luck maxed out, electric absorption at one star, and power sprinter at one star. These are the legendary pet cards. Now let's get into my armor buffs and mutations. Over in the armor, what we're using is my full set of T65 Overeaters power armor. And the reason we go with Overeaters is because it says increases damage reduction up to 6% as you fill your hunger and thirst meters. And if you eat a perfect bubblegum, your hunger and thirst meters will be filled for a full hour. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we use for the build. We have Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Scuzz Skin, and Speed Demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using Mute Fruit Juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, Simple Firm Flower Tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, Tato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to Perception, and of course a perfect bubblegum that way our hunger and thirst smears do not increase. Over in our Kim buffs, we're using Overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage, Critical damage and psycho tats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception, damage resist increase, and a plus 11% to our damage. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over all the rare rewards that you can obtain from this year's Treasure Hunter Mole Miner event. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it to the screen right now. You see that that is the Treasure Hunter Rewards.